Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a recent ban that has left Twitch fans perplexed. Twitch has banned one of their most popular FIFA streamers, Castro102, without any official explanation. Fans are wondering what could have caused this sudden suspension and whether the streamer will be able to return to the platform. CASTRO102's background Castro102 is a well known FIFA streamer, famous for his unpredictable and entertaining FIFA streams. He has raised a lot of money for charitable causes and is involved with the Sidemen, including KSI and Vicstar. With over 3 million Twitch followers, he has become one of the most popular FIFA streamers. Despite his erratic schedule, fans remain loyal to the streamer, tuning in for his exciting content. The ban. The reason behind Castro's ban has not been officially explained by Twitch, leaving fans to speculate about what may have caused the suspension. Recently, another Twitch streamer was automatically taken down due to a username causing many fans to think about the cause of the ban. Castro himself responded to the ban by joking that Twitch had suspended him for one of his more audacious football predictions, but he later claimed that he was fully banned from Twitch, despite no official evidence from Twitch to support the claim of Permaban. Copyright issues. Many fans think that the ban may be the result of Twitch's DMC a takedown on his channel. Viewers reported that Castro had been watching and responding to videos on his live stream, including highlights from recent UEFA Champions League games, which may have sparked a copyright dispute. Copyright issues are not new to Castro, as he was previously banned from using the transfer market in FIFA Ultimate Team. Other bans on Twitch. In recent months, the platform has taken action against several high-profile streamers including banning the popular streamer Miaori. While there has been no official statement from either Twitch or Castro regarding his return, the streamer has been questioned about the likelihood of streaming on Kick, the newest rival to Twitch. Although many streamers are moving to Kick, Castro appeared to rule out that option when questioned about it on Twitter. It remains to be seen whether Twitch will provide an explanation for Castro's ban or whether the streamer will be able to return to the platform. Currently, many are waiting to see what happens next in this ongoing story. What do you think could have caused the ban? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this story and other gaming news. Thanks for watching.